Hey everyone, welcome back to another LEGO Stars review video. Today I have set number 75383, Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. This came out on just recently, May 1st, 2024. And it has not retired, but obviously because it just came out, but my guess is it will probably retire sometime in like December of 2025. But yeah, this set um, comes with 640 pieces, four minifigures, one of them is unique to the set. And this set retails for $70 USD or $90 Canadian. So I'm going to say this set is a bit overpriced, as you can tell from the size of it to a minifigure. I do think this set is a bit overpriced, but we're just going to have to like fully say what, what I think about it as we get into the review, which let's get into it now. All right, so starting off with probably my favorite like non 25th anniversary minifigure in this set, Qui-Gon Jinn. I'm really happy to finally have a Qui-Gon Jinn minifigure in my collection. The last time we saw Qui-Gon Jinn was, I think, in like 20... I think it was back in like 2018 or something in like the Duel on Naboo that came out in 2018. I think that was the last time we saw this minifigure. And here we are. He's back once again in the Sith Infiltrator for 2024. And I'm really happy with this minifigure. I really like the cloth piece they gave it to. And it's even got some printing on the bottom, as you can see. I love this minifigure so much, and I love the green lightsaber that they gave him. And, yeah, as you can see as well, it's got um, two faces, which in the previ in previous Qui-Gon Jinns, they would just make it like a scared face. This one, they made like an angry face. But, yeah, I love this minifigure. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Young Anakin, I would say, is probably the most disappointing minifigure in the set. Pretty much just because this is like... This is like one of the minifigures we've already seen. All right, it just feels like they didn't really change much to this minifigure. I'm not sure if I'm going crazy though, but it feels like they didn't change much about this minifigure in this set. But either way, it's a pretty decent minifigure. I'll give it a six out of ten. And here is Darth Maul. Darth Maul, yes, as well, is finally back in Lego form. And I think the last time we saw this minifigure was the last time we saw a Darth Maul minifigure was in 2021 with the um du with the Duel on Mandalore set, but the last time we saw like um a fan or an episode one Darth Maul I think was in 2019 with the Sith Infiltrator Microfighter. But yeah, I do like this Darth Maul minifigure. Just the only thing I don't like about it, which I actually hate, is the like yellowish eye. It's like the yellow eyes they gave him. I don't like it at all. Looks quite creepy to be honest, just makes it look like it's possessed, but I don't like it at all, but it's a pretty decent minifigure. I'll give it a s another 6 out of 10. And then here is our 25th anniversary minifigure for the set, because this is a 25th anniversary set for LEGO Star Wars. This is Saw Gerrera. It's also a 25th anniversary set for the Phantom Menace, but yeah, Saw Gerrera, I think this is a... Oh, my bad. This is a really nice minifigure, I think, and this is... And I've only, uh, the only other 25th anniversary minifigure I got right now is Arc Trooper 5's, but I also plan soon to get the um, Darth Malak, but that's the only one that's out right now that I don't have yet. But yeah, this is a really nice 25th anniversary minifigure, and, but I do, I do definitely, or actually no, I do definitely prefer this over um, Arc Trooper 5's, but yeah, he also got another face, and I love this minifigure so much. This is, this guy is from Rogue One, and yeah. I'm going to give this minifigure a solid 8 out of 10. Okay, so I do just want to say though, this is, or sorry, just the minifigures are in the way here. So I do just want to say though, this is um, our first Sith Infiltrator we've gotten since 2015. Our last Sith, 2015, that was almost 10 years ago. That was 9 years ago. Right now, currently, 2015 was 9 years ago. And that was our last Sith Infiltrator. So I want to see... Um, it does, how much the Sith Infiltrator has, has improved in the last nine years. Starting off, we've also, so as you can see, let's just start off by taking a quick look at it. And as you can see, some of the proportions, the proportions are definitely there, even though there is like some parts on it. Like I don't really like, like I don't really like looking at it from this angle because it just looks a bit weird. But yeah, this is a, yeah, as you can see though, the, the, the build, it's definitely a bit smaller than previous Sith Infiltrators, like the 2015 and 2011 ones are definitely much bigger than this. But this one, I do th I do really like the size. I do like the bigger Sith Infiltrators, but I also do really like the size of this one because obviously like it can free up a lot more space and you don't, 
And to be honest, I do think those last two th Sith Infiltrators were like definitely really oversized. Not to say they were bad, they were definitely amazing, but they were just really oversized. And I do really like the scale of this one. And I think this the scale for this one definitely compares to the 2006, I'm pretty sure it's the 2006 Sith Infiltrator. 2006 or 2007, one of those two. But yeah, let's start off by getting in let's start off by getting to some of the play features now so obviously you can see there's landing gear which yes every sith infiltrator has landing gear so all you have to do to flip this one up is just flip them back or back like this and that's for both sides and you probably know the last two sith infiltrators had like much bigger landing gear i really like the size of this one i, I didn't really like the oversized landing gear the last two had and then once you do that you can flip the wings down to about here this is this is what I usually do. I I put them up too, and there that's what your Sith infiltrator looks like in flight mode, as you can see. And I do really like the look of this. I do really like the look of this this Sith infiltrator in flight form. Some of the ones like some of the previous ones in flight mode did look a bit weird, but I think this one in flight mode looks spectacular. And as you can see, there's a little flip here. This is one thing I will say on this set that I d absolutely hate. It's just of how big, um, like this front part here, it should be like at least down to like here, I would say like at least put it down one slope, but no, it like rises up so much. It kind of looks like a baby bump of it and I hate it. Even though um, you can flip it up and you get the little probe droids and how you want if you want to drop those probe droids down as you can see there's just a um as you can see there's just a little a very a very small slip switch here that's the look at that that one small part there that very one small part there is holding this whole trap together you just flip it down and all the probe droids fall down you get fall out you get three in the set and i think just look at that I didn't mean to do that, but yeah, just, it's really cool how that one part there, um, like lets, or keeps all the probe droids from falling out. I think that is really, really cool, and I love it. It's super satisfying. Now I gotta go find that spring load shooter. Alright, sorry about that, I was just uh, changing the lighting, but let's do that. Okay, but now the next thing I want definitely want to get into is the spring load shooters, which is another really sick play feature. You just click on these like little two slopes here and the two spring load shooters fire off. And again, like it's just such it's just such a satisfying play feature. Like you like, you pr pretty much just touch it and they'll all fly and they'll both fire off. Like you don't even have to put pressure on it, you just have to touch it and it'll fire out. That's I fucking love that so much it's just so satisfying and now we're gonna get into um the passenger or the driver's seat so let's just put in landing mode and let's get it focused so as you can see you just have to flip up the top here flip down this bottom or this back ramp and then flip these two little like or shit these two um like curved pieces out to let out darth maul speeder which is super small, but it definitely works. It's definitely well built. It's really small, but I really like it. And as you can see, you just fit Darth Maul on it right there. And there he goes, he's now on his speeder. And then if you're wondering where you can put his lightsaber, essentially for his lightsaber, all you have to do is just take it apart like this um, well, where is it? Put his lightsaber right there. Another one, because he's like, there's these two clips. And then this speeder, you can just slide it in there. Or, I'm sorry, it's just, it's a really... Sorry, it's a really tight fit in there. I apologize, but yeah, there we go. He's now in there. Oh, shit. Not too sure how to get it, but yes, you can definitely get him in there, and he is now in there. 
but yeah it's it is a bit funky sometimes i will admit but yeah that's kind of all i really got for the 2024 sith infiltrator i'm gonna now take or fix everything up and i'll give you guys my final thought okay so you're so what i'll say about this set now backing out is obviously thanks for watching this review but i will definitely say this set for 90 bucks is definitely really overpriced and i would definitely wait for a sale on it the set I'm, I'm guessing this set's probably gonna be around until the end of 2025 so you still have quite a bit of time to get this set and also though the saga rare minifigure i would definitely say is a big add-on to this but yeah this set though for 90 bucks is definitely overpriced i would definitely wait for a sale and to be completely honest i also definitely wouldn't say this this is the best sith infiltrator we've ever gotten i would definitely say the 2015 and 2011 ones are better also big, mainly just because they're bigger but i still relatively like the size of this one and i still really enjoy the sith infiltrator and i really like it in my collection it looks really good on my phantom menace display but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll give this set a solid 6.5 out of 10. I'll see you guys in another video soon.